morning, everybody. I wanted to start this lecture out by first explaining the way this is going to go now. We have a three-part video. Uh, the first video, we're going to be discussing oxycetylene involving safety, the do's and don'ts, how to protect yourself, how to make sure nobody else gets injured. The second video, part two, we're going to go through in detail how to set up, properly hook up our regulators, torch tips, set pressures, etc. The third part will be a hands-on demonstration as to how to ignite the flame, how to distinguish between a neutral flame, an oxidizing flame, and a carburizing. So let's begin with our first part of this lecture, which is safety. <clears throat> with an oxygen torch, there are inherent risks that you have to be aware of. Number one, let's begin with the very basics here. When you acquire these tanks, they should have caps on the valves. The oxygen tank alone holds approximately 2200 PSI when it is filled from the welding supply store. The valve itself is a brass valve. If this bottle were to get knocked over because we didn't chain the bottle where it uh, is resting, if it were to get knocked over and this valve gets knocked off, we're basically going to have a missile on our hands, folks. We don't want that, okay? So let's be thoughtful, let's be careful about this. Don't ever move one of these bottles unless you have this cap on and installed correctly. When you remove the cap, make sure that the bottle has some type of a resting device, as you can see down here these chains hold the bottle from falling over. Okay, the next thing to be aware of, on the smaller bottles, I see a lot of people go to do this. They're gonna to try to pick the bottle up by this cap to move it. I don't recommend it. Why? Simple reason. You go to pull up on this cap and it's not screwed on all the way, the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna come up and it's gonna hit you in the chin. You're gonna wind up spitting your teeth out like chiclets. Not a good thing. So be aware, if you're going to move these bottles, move them the proper way. The proper way is with a fork truck or to have them on the ground and you roll them, okay? Safety number one, cap. Keep in mind there's a lot of pressure in here. Once we take both our caps off, for the purpose of hooking up our gauges and whatnot, a couple other cautions to be aware of. Don't ever use oil on these threads. Petroleum products and oxygen do not mix, especially when you add 2200 PSI. Uh, it's a real explosion hazard. So there's no take backs on it. Just remember, these are brass fittings. The regulators themselves fittings, there's no need to add any type of lubricant when we go to hook these up. Ever, ever, ever. A couple of other cautions. When you do open these valves for the purpose of welding, you really don't want them open much more than a turn. In the event something really bad happens, make sure that you can shut these valves off in a hurry if you're not already hightailing it out the door. Um, you have to be aware you're working with very hot uh, material, the flame can reach approximately 6,500 degrees. The molten metal while you're cutting can fall and it can melt through these lines. Then you have another problem on your hands. You have a, a, a decent sized fire that you're trying to contain. Your only recourse is to either get out of the building or get the valve shut off. That's why it's in your best interest to not open the valves all the way. Keep them at a point where you can shut them off quick. There's a process, another safety issue, there's a process when you're hooking the regulators up of making sure that these are clear so there's no debris so it doesn't get into the regulator. Don't have the valve pointing at somebody when you crack this thing open. And all you're going to do, you're just going to do a quick like that just to clear the debris out. Make sure there's nobody standing there. Think about it. The piece of debris comes flying out, hits somebody. Now you've got somebody losing an eye, worst case scenario, even, even worse. But just think about things like that. Before you clear these, make sure there's nobody around. 
Um, quick review, make sure we keep our bottles chained when the covers are off. Make sure that when we take the covers off that we don't have any, the reason we're chaining it with the covers off is if the bottles fall over, bad things can happen. Number two, don't ever put oil on these threads, ever, ever. And always remember, in with uh, acetylene, oxyacetylene welding, the green hose is always the oxygen, the red is always the fuel. Whether it's map gas, whether it's acetylene, whether it's propane, the red is always the fuel, the green is always our oxygen. 